One of my biggest frustrations with OBS nowadays is the sheer number of docs you need for everything. Like check this out. I have a doc for my YouTube dashboard, my Twitch dashboard, my vertical scene layouts, different utilities for making things easier to access. And the OBS UI is just so old and hasn't been updated to keep up. Like how the hell are you gonna fit all this crap in your screen at one time? A while back I made a Twitter thread basically begging the OBS devs to update their UI. I even proposed my own tab system where you can make your own custom layouts. Like, imagine if you could have one super streamlined layout that's just for streaming that only has your preview window, your scenes doc so you can change scenes, and your Twitch chat. But then you can switch to another tab that only contains your dashboards for Twitch and YouTube. And then maybe there could be a dedicated tab just for editing your scene layouts. Maybe if you use like the vertical plugin, there could be one just for editing your vertical scene layouts. Guys, I don't think you realize just how long I've been waiting for something like this and it finally exists. Someone made a plugin called JR Docky that literally does exactly what I asked for. You can make your own custom layouts for OBS exactly the way that you want and then switch between those layouts just at the click of a button. You can even make it work with a stream deck so you could just push a button on your stream deck and then OBS will switch to any one of those layouts that you've created. You're gonna wanna check this out because right now this is my front runner for OBS plugin of the year. But before that, if you guys need a Windows 11 license, you can get them for as low as 20 $21, just use my code NUTTY to get them for 30% off at checkout. Or if you wanna if you wanna know a little bit of a hack, you can save uh, more money by just getting a Windows 10 key and then they're like $15 and then you can just upgrade that to Windows 11 later. You can use a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code, <laughs> shove that sucker in there and then boom, and then it's just activated. So check out VIP SCD keys in the link down below. Uh, and then, yeah, enjoy your money, guys. Okay, so to get the plugin, just head to the link down below. It's a little bit weird to download. So this is the download page. Just go to the download page and then right click where it says raw and then save as. And it should tell you how to install it, but you basically just drag it into your OBS uh, folder. You can ask in, this, in the Discord server if you have trouble installing it. But once you have it installed, you can restart OBS and it's gonna look like this. Here's how it works. If you look in the top left, you'll see a thing that says doc sets. And here I've had, I've had my, I've set up like a few different doc sets. So let me give you a few examples. Here's my streaming doc set. Let's just get rid of this. So this is my streaming doc set. So I stream on uh, YouTube shorts and uh, Twitch and regular YouTube at the same time. So I have my horizontal canvas here. On my right, I've got my vertical canvas. And then I have a bunch of docs here for changing scenes and showing my sources. But I've kept it pretty lean. Like I just show the uh, docs that are relevant to being a streamer, but I don't show docs like the scene transition doc or like all these dashboards that I don't want on the screen. Um, so for that, if I wanna show like my dashboards cause I wanna like change my stream title, I can come over to doc sets, click on dashboards and I have an entirely separate layout here. Now you still have to show your OBS uh, preview window no matter what, because that's just how OBS works. But I can set up an entirely separate layout that just has dashboards. So because I stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, I have a YouTube doc, which has my YouTube dashboard. And then I have a Twitch doc, which has my dashboard. And then also my channel point re uh, request queue. And all I had to do to do that was I added, go up here in docs and custom browser docs. And here you can add in like your own docs for whatever you want. So like I just added a link to uh, my Twitch dashboard and also my YouTube dashboard here, just add them here. And then they appear as little docs. I can move them around, put them wherever I want. And then if I'm like, oh crap, I like move stuff around and I, know how, I don't know where I position stuff, boom dashboards and it just loads up again it's so cool all you have to do to do uh, to make this work is let's go over here this is probably what your obs looks like by default you can pretty much just move stuff around to whatever positions you want maybe maybe i want to put the uh mixer here um maybe i want to like add in my twitch chat so we'll just add in twitch chat so i don't i don't know this is a terrible layout Let's put the mixer down here. Put the Twitch chat here. 
doesn't matter. You can lay out out however you want. And then if you want to make a new doc set, literally you just save it and you call this my Twitch doc set. You guys can't see that. Twitch doc set, boom, save it like that. And then now every time I want to stream, I just like load up, I load up that doc set, show my dashboard. Now I can see all my dashboards again. I can go back to my Twitch doc set. Perfect, exactly the way you want. You can even pop out docs as well and it will also save that. So if you prefer to have your Twitch popped out like that, and then if you save your doc set again, so we'll save over Twitch. If I switch between my dashboard doc set and my Twitch one, it still pops out chat. So it still saves that, which is really nice. Now it's not perfect. This plugin just came out like a month ago. So it's fairly new. So it could be buggy, but also I, I would love if you could switch between doc sets with like hotkeys or even better, it would be really amazing if you could switch doc sets using like a stream deck or if there's like WebSocket support. And now you can. I asked the developer this and he literally did exactly what I wanted. So JR Docky now supports WebSockets, which is just the fancy nerd word of saying you can control your doc sets using like a stream deck or streamer bot. You just need a tool that can communicate with OBS. If you wanna change your doc sets using something like a stream deck, the easiest plugin I found is the multi OBS plugin. You can find that on the Elgato marketplace. And all you need to do is drag a raw WebSocket request and then fill in the details as follows. So the request type will be call vendor request. And then for the data, just paste in what you see on screen. Make sure to replace your file name with whatever you called your doc set in OBS. And then you just rinse and repeat for all the different doc sets that you've made. And now you could just press the buttons on your stream deck and boom, your layout changes automatically with just a single button press. I also think it would be cool if you could just like save without saying save as, because currently like if you if you edit your doc set and then if you want to update it, you always have to go and say save as. But other than that, um, yeah, this is an amazing plugin. This massively reduces the number of docs that I need to have in OBS. Just as a few examples for you guys to uh, think about if you're making your own doc sets, I'll go through all of mine. So again, here's my streamlined streaming setup that's optimized for streaming, doesn't have too many docs to distract me. I've made a layout just for editing my horizontal stream. So uh, I've had like my scenes on the left. J -E I've got my instead of 60. I've got my scenes on the left, my sources. I've got this doc here, which we talked about last week where I could just search for sources. I have like my scene transitions down here and then I have my preview nice and big. If you use the vertical plugin, well then I've made a layout here just for editing my vertical canvas. So I've made my vertical canvas nice and big with my vertical scenes, my vertical sources, and it makes it really nice for editing here. And then again, uh, I have a layout just for my dashboards. But if you guys have any other ideas for what you'd set up for docs, let me know. Cause I'm, I, I've been playing around for this for like two hours, trying to come up with ideas for different doc sets. So if you come up with a really cool idea, come send it to me on Twitter or the discord. Cause uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I want to come up with something cool and maybe I'll share like the best ideas with uh, people on Twitter, but that's it. That's it. I'm going to get back to streaming now because my audience has been watching me do this for like 30 minutes with like 30 different takes. Okay. Thank you. See you. I'll see you guys next week.